It's Julie Gatorson coming at you from beautiful Jackson Hole, Wyoming. I'm the owner here at Vin Fitness Studio, but I'm also a Schwinn Master Trainer. I'm going to take you through a quick bike fit. Why is bike fit important? Two simple answers. Reduce injury and increase power output. Power output is what is linked to your calorie burn, your speed, and your distance. Power is really everything when it comes to being efficient on the bike. So when you're set up properly, you're going to be able to increase power and reduce the chance of, of injury. So let's go ahead and take you through that quick fit right now. What we're gonna start at is a neutral position with the seat. So you can move that forward and back. Now on this bike, it takes me to a zero. That's a neutral position. And then the same goes for the handlebars. Find that neutral position, taking it forward and back, finding that zero for me on this bike. Now again, this bike fit is really the same no matter what indoor cycling bike you're riding. It's really about finding those best possible lines to be the most efficient that you can be. So you're, from here, once you're at neutral neutral, you're going to find the top of the hip bone. So for me, that's right here. And then I would raise my inside leg or the leg that's closest to the seat up and then take the thumb, put it on the hip crease and then flatten out those fingers. So you can see right here, that's where top of the hip bone comes. And what I find is that most people want to be too low. They think that they're too high once we actually do get them in that right position. So don't be afraid to try a little higher and then work your way down from there. So for me, on this particular bike, I am at a 17 and I'm at a zero. I'm going to go ahead and clip it. Now, if I didn't have clips and I had cages, what I would want to do is make sure that the ball of my foot where the clip is placed under would be on the axle, the center part of the pedal. You would want to point the ball of your foot over the center, the center of the pedal and then strap those shoes nice and tight in. You don't want to push your foot all the way to the end of the cage. And why would that not be a great idea? So if I am riding, I'm a size 10. Um, if my husband's riding, he's a size 12. I've had size 16 shoes here at the studio, but then there's also size five. So think about that same foot going into the cage. For the most power, you wanna be able to have the ball of your foot over the center of the pedal. It's not only for power, but it's also for comfort. You wanna be pushing off the ball of that foot. So get that ball over the axle of the pedal, tighten up those straps, and then just go ahead and start pedaling. You want a slight bend at the bottom of the pedal stroke. You want to be able to move your hands to several positions, not locked out, not reaching, so you can move the handles forward and back from there. But otherwise, find a comfortable position. But notice I'm not too low. Notice I'm not so high that my hips are rocking. And I'm just in that right position. So really, from here, once I add the right amount of resistance, and the right leg speed together, I can produce the most power possible. And that is what I want for all of you. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, get on that bike and get riding. Have a great day.